This is Mr. Martin. These are video notes for pre-calculus honors. Uh, we're in chapter 9. We're talking about parabolas in this video. Um, so in previous math classes, um, we've looked at uh, this equation for a quadratic. Um, f of x is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, uh, which describes a parabola. Uh, but this definition really is only useful for parabolas that open either up or down. So we need to take into account um, any orientation because parabolas can open left and right as well. So um, first let's take a look at uh, the parts of a parabola. Um, we've got our focus over here and our directrix over here and notice that the focus is a point and the directrix is a line and the way we define the parabola is it's the set of all points that are equidistant from both the focus and the directrix so if I pick a point over here on the parabola and I measure the distance to the directrix and I measure the distance to the focus, these would be the same. Okay, and we can see that here with this point x, y. This has length d, and this has length d. So the set of all points that are equidistant from a given point called the focus and a given line called the directrix. And then uh, halfway between the focus and the directrix, we're going to have our vertex in here. Okay, so we've got our vertex. And um, dividing the parabola symmetrically, we've also got the axis of symmetry. All right, so those are the basic parts. We could turn it sideways. We're still going to have the same uh, parts. Our directrix will just be vertical. Our axis of symmetry would be horizontal. and a couple of notes which I mentioned. So the standard equation of our parabolas, we've got our vertex which is hk, and then we have these uh, two different forms of it, uh, one for a vertical axis and one for a horizontal axis. Now this vertical axis, this is what you're used to from algebra, and you'll notice that the variable that's squared there is the x. We have x minus h squared. Um, so if you think about this, this is kind of like x, y equals x squared. That's the normal way from algebra. That would be the one that opens up and down. In this one, we've got x is equal to y squared because um, we have the y squared here. Now notice in both of these, uh, in front of the linear term on the right side, we have this 4p. We're going to talk a lot, a lot about that. And we have h and k, and h always goes with the x. Notice it's with the x over here. It's with the x over here, and k always goes with the y. All right, so this uh, value of p, the focus lies on the axis p units. We call this the directed distance from the vertex. If the vertex is at the origin, then the equation takes one of the following forms. So these are, if we're at the origin, so hk is 0, 0. Um, if we scroll back up to here, something I didn't point out before, notice this distance here between the vertex and the focus is p, and the distance from the vertex to the directrix is also p. That's our directed distance. All right, so here's our two cases, a vertical axis and um, horizontal axis. Okay, and this is for p is greater than 0, and this is for p is less than 0. So I'm going to pick any um, vertex here and just sketch in a parabola. And we've got my axis of symmetry. My focus will be inside the parabola somewhere. That same distance away from the vertex on the other side will be my directrix somewhere. Okay. 
and um, there we have all our parts of this opening up so we can go ahead and label those that's focus vertex directrix axis of symmetry All right, and remember this is HK. And then this little distance here is P, and this distance here is also P. All right, so that's if uh, P is greater than zero. If P is less than zero, we're gonna have a similar thing. It's just gonna open down. So again, just picking any point for my vertex, P is less than zero, it's gonna open down. All right, we'll have our vertex inside, my directrix outside. These will be the same distance from the focus. We'll have our axis of symmetry. All right, so in this case, this P is gonna be negative, which means that 4P is also gonna be negative. So one of the things you wanna be uh, looking for is whether that uh, coefficient in front of the Y minus K is positive or negative or if we're talking about a horizontal axis, if it's in front of the x minus h, whether it's positive or negative. All right, so over here, p is positive. Picking an arbitrary vertex. Vertex inside, directrix outside, axis of symmetry. Remember this distance here is p, this distance here is p. Feel free to label the rest of those parts. So opening to the right, that's going to be positive. And then opening to the left, that would be P negative. Sketching all our pieces. There's vertex, directrix, arbitrary uh, vertex. Here's my focus, sorry, and my axis of symmetry. So um, Just some basic sketches of uh, positive and negative, uh, vertical and horizontal. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples. We want to find um, the standard equation of the parabola with vertex at 3, 2 and focus at 1, 2. So when we're looking for our standard form, it's a good idea to graph what you've got going on here. Just a quick sketch. So I have 3, 2. That's my vertex and my focus is 1, 2. And I know that my focus has to be inside. So I know that my parabola is going to have to open up to the left. So I know that P is negative. P is less than 0. So we'll keep that in mind. And since it's uh, horizontal, I know that my y is going to be squared, so this is y minus k squared is equal to 4p times x minus h. And I know that this distance between the focus and the vertex is going to be my value of p, so I know that p is going to be negative, again, because it opens to the left, and the distance between those two, so p is negative 2. I've already got my vertex, my hk is 3 comma 2 and all I need to do to find the standard equation is substitute these values uh, over here so I'm going to have y minus 2 squared is equal to negative 8 times x minus 3 and there's your standard form of our parabola all right Moving on to the next example, we want to find the focus of the parabola given by y equals negative 1 6 times the quantity x squared plus 4x minus 2. So we see that x is squared here, so we're going to want to put it in the form x minus 8 squared is equal to 4p times y minus k. And I think uh, the first thing that I'm going to do here is multiply through by negative 6 to get rid of that 1 6. So I end up with negative 6y is equal to x squared plus 4x minus 2. And I'm going to move my, uh, I'm just going to flip flop everything because I like my squared stuff on the left. 
and I'm going to leave this constant over here. Uh, well, we'll flip-flop everything for now. So x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals negative 6y. Again, all I did was flip-flop the two sides. Um, I'm going to have x squared plus 4x. I'm going to have to um, complete the square over here. I'm going to move that uh, negative 2 to the other side, negative 6y plus 2, and then whatever I add over here. So I take half of this term and square it, so that's 2 squared. So I'm going to also add 4 to that side. And now I have a perfect square trinomial, which will factor to x plus 2 squared equals negative 6y plus 6. One more step, x plus 2 squared, factor out that negative 6 and then y plus 6. So here's our standard form and from here I can find the vertex. The vertex is going to be hk so that's going to be negative 2, negative 6 and I know that 4p is equal to negative 6 which means that p is negative 3 halves. So if I look at a little sketch here I know this is going to open down because my uh, p is uh, negative here and I know it's vertical. So I've got uh, negative 2, negative 6. There's my vertex. It's going to open down. And I know p is going to be 3 halves away from the focus down. So that tells me that the focus is going to be at uh, negative seven and a half because I'm going down one and a half from negative six. Whoops, let's flip that around. So negative two comma negative seven and a half. All right, so some of you might have uh, found the mistake that I made already. Um, back over here I forgot to uh, factor out that negative so let's go ahead and fix this I apologize for that mistake that should be y minus 6 which would make my vertex at positive 6 so we'll move this up to positive 6 still gonna open down alright uh, my vertex yep positive 6 which means that my focus is gonna be p units below 6 so I'm gonna from 6 I'm gonna subtract alright take 3 here uh, let's change this to uh, negative 1 I'm sure you guys are uh, keeping track of my mistakes here let's get rid of my parabola up here okay so uh, I'm gonna work on my factoring after this video anyway Let's change my vertex to negative 2, 1. So negative 2, 1. Still opening down. Got that part right. And now if I'm at 1, I'm going to go down 1 and a half. That's going to put me at negative 2, negative 1 half. And there's my focus. All right, couple mistakes. You guys probably found those, and um, I think I finally got the right answer here. Okay, so I'm going to end this video here and uh, continue with the next examples uh, in another video. Uh, let me know if you had any questions, and we'll see you next time.